Diese Woche hatten wir Besuch aus Simbabwe und zwar von der Simbabwe Begegnungspartnerschaft äh, von dem Kirchkreis, Kirchkreis, Kirchenkreisverband Eberswalde und äh, da haben uns einige Deutsche und auch ein paar äh, Simbabwe besucht und wir haben denen etwas erzählt über ähm, Triaterra, über Baummöglichkeiten äh, aufzuforsten in Afrika mit äh, besonderen Methoden und über unser Toilettensystem äh, und die Möglichkeit, das vielleicht auch bei Ihnen zu Hause zu nutzen. Und zwar geht es um das hier, Zimbabwe. Eine Volksgruppe in Simatelele, Bunsiva, Mulindi, in der Region Binga im Norden von Simbabwe. Eine recht arme Region, die, wo sie da alle seit 20 Jahren schon Austauschpartnerschaft machen. Mal fliegen die Deutschen in ein Jahr, mal kommen ein paar Simbabwe hierher und lernen entsprechend die andere Kultur kennen und nehmen vielleicht auch ein bisschen äh, Wissen mit nach Hause, was man dann nutzen kann. Der Vortrag wird in Englisch sein. Ähm, also von daher, das meiste jetzt in Englisch, immer mal wieder ein paar deutsche Fragen reingeworfen und deutsch geantwortet, aber im Wesentlichen wird das Ganze in Englisch sein. So, deswegen jetzt das, die ganze Ansage nochmal in, in Englisch. Hello, this is the Triaterra video blog. We uh, promote here EM, Effective Microorganism and uh, Terra Preta products. And we are, have topics for the greening of the earth. And today we have uh, a topic we were visited by a group from Zimbabwe here in Germany in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. And they wanted to learn about our, our ways of uh, Composting with effective microorganism of uh, working with uh, our very simple toilet and uh, they come from a group, a connection group over, over the church. Um, since 20 years they exchange uh, visitors every year, one year from Germany and one year from Zimbabwe to learn about the other culture. And uh, yeah, let's roll and in the end there comes a little sweet uh, part uh, where they sing us a song, uh, their, their uh, hymn of this exchange program. Das sind unsere Freunde aus äh, Zimbabwe, oh, und zwar in der Nähe vom Karibasee. Sie sind äh, beim Aufstauen des Zambesi äh, sind sie vertrieben worden und mussten in die höheren äh, Gegenden von äh, Zimbabwe gehen und haben damit ein wesentlich schlechtere Vielen Dank, ja. ja. Also aus dieser Region in Zimbabwe kommen die? Ja. Hast du das drauf? Haben wesentlich schlechtere Bedingungen äh, natürlich vorgefunden als unten an den fruchtbaren. Und das ist jetzt ein Ent 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 Entwicklungshilfeprojekt oder ein Austauschprojekt? Wir haben uns über die Kirche vor 20 Jahren kennengelernt und alle zwei Jahre kommen sie hier hoch, beziehungsweise in der Zwischenzeit fährt eine Gruppe immer wieder runter nach Zimbabwe. Und in diese Begegnungspartnerschaft... So, 20 years ago, over the church, there came a connection and there is a... Uh, every, every year there's an exchange. One year a German group goes to Africa, to Zimbabwe. One year there comes a Zimbabwe group to Germany to learn about the, the culture and the... And the Uh, living, living conditions. And yeah. so. Okay, and today we have Zimbabwean uh, visitors here, and we want to explain yeah. a little bit about our work here, about yeah. the company yes. Triaterra, and about uh, about uh, using urine and faces and toilet manure for yeah. fertilizing. Yeah. And yeah. and uh, we will show also a little clip, which is dear to my heart, how how you can raise trees from little shrubs which we have find in the desert in Africa yeah. in Zimbabwe maybe. As I said, actually my company, we are, we are convincing the German people
to not use their water toilets and use a bucket. Uh -huh. This is the bucket. And the main important thing about the bucket is that it has a lid. So it it's get closed every time. That's the most important thing. But uh, before I come to how you can use a bucket as a very efficient and clean toilet, uh, first about urine. This is can use any bottle or, or a bucket you can use for for uh, uh, collecting urine. And uh, do you want to translate? Do you just say when you want? to? And urine is actually very easy and very safe. Uh, with uh, feces, with the, the toilet, it's a little bit more difficult. But urine is very easy to use, and maybe you even know that you can use urine for your skin. <laughs> or for even people drinking urine, I don't know. Yeah. Or it's, so, it's not, it's not dangerous. It's very safe. So it's, it's no problem. It's actually a very safe product, and uh, you don't you don't have to treat it anyway. Just just collect it. And urine is a very, very good fertilizer. But you need to dilute it. One to ten. One part urine, ten parts water. With the urine of one person, you can fertilize a field of... Uh, Let's say about 500 liters, about about 400 square meters. So every square meter, about one to two liters of urine with water, 10 to 20 liters. Our garden is actually only fertilized with, with urine and, and compost. So, so collect your urine and, and use it uh, directly for fertilizing. It's very, very efficient. It has nitrogen, phosphorus, uh, potassium, uh, what else? Um, sodium. It has all, all the nutrients. It's really a, a very round fertilizer. It has everything. Okay. Um, what next? So this is urine. And uh, if you want to, uh, that's what we that's what we uh, teach the, our our customers here in Germany that you can you can uh, use charcoal, <coughs> fine dust of charcoal, like this. Makala. Charcoal dust. This is. Charcoal dust. And you can you you have a very you have a perfect uh, like compost or fertilizer for planting if you mix charcoal and urine. But pure, pure urine and charcoal. You can you can mix until you have like a, like a moist uh, a mud, mm -hmm. and and uh, that you can you can use for planting. 
kabugela nyamu sisi yabanga kubanga muri muri tanga wenda kubumba ngombe lai kubugela ni antu akopa kubanga wachatana kuna kuyobu kumbola upela ka punu kad wele munsa si popwe ka munsa nzembe ba afuti ba na magamba tia you make you make the the hole for planting a little bit deeper you put in one one handful of of uh, urine charcoal mixture like a mud of urine charcoal and and you plant on top of it like um, uh, maize or whatever beans or or uh, they had an experiment in uh, Nepal with just this urine and charcoal and they used cow cow urine but you can use human urine as well and uh, they had an experiment and they planted uh, what's the name uh kubus pumpkin what's kubus in english pumpkin pumpkin pumpkin, pumpkin. they planted pumpkin and so uh, and like every every pumpkin plant had one or two handful of of charcoal plus urine and they actually no nothing else otherwise all the same and they harvested more than double the pumpkin of this plant more than double Uti mwabiga minchu nga yes gala itwingi maybe two times Yana lo kuma tangama pati nguli nguli Also sie sie müssen den Urin den Deutschen zu ja der Urin wird gemischt in Verhältnis genau also Holzkohle pur und also Holzkohlenstaub und Urin pur am besten noch ein paar Mikroorganismen dazu habe ich jetzt aber hier nicht erwähnt und ähm Pur mischen, dass man richtigen Schlamm kriegt, richtig nassen Schlamm. Also das viel Urin ist. Und äh, dann, dann haben wir genug Stickstoff. Und das wird bei der Pflanzung, zum Beispiel bei, bei Kürbis oder Tomaten oder auch bei Bäumen, macht man das Loch ein bisschen tiefer, macht unten in das Pflanzloch diese Mischung rein. Ein, zwei Handvoll oder bei Bäumen auch mal eine Schippe. Und das hat einen enormen Effekt auf die, auf die Pflanzen, weil die dann sofort Nährstoffe haben und die Holzkohle eben dauerhaft im Boden bleibt. Können Sie bitte nochmal sagen, in welchem Verhältnis Sie den Urin mit Wasser gemischt haben hier vorhin? Also äh, zum, zum Düngen, Urin kann man direkt als Dünger einsetzen und es wird 1 zu 10 verdünnt. 1 zu 10. 1 zu 10 verdünnt, dann ist es ein hervorragender Dünger. Wenn man es pur macht, hat jeder Mann vielleicht schon festgestellt, kann man damit auch Pflanzen verbrennen. Ja. Irgendwo in der Wiese oder so, aber... Ich hatte das vorhin nicht verstanden, dass mir schon zwei... Kommt aber darauf an, was man vorher getrunken hat. And we, we actually, now we actually want to plant over there, on this black patch there, we want to plant next week uh, strawberries. And we already have a big uh, barrel of charcoal there. And every day I go with my urine bottle there and put... Uh, and and bring the urine in the big barrel of charcoal and and uh, we will use this next week for planting strawberries Um, yeah, charcoal is a very interesting substance. Usually, uh, I guess uh, maybe also in your your area, you pro you produce charcoal yourself, or somewhere yeah, yeah. there produces charcoal, yes. and they only sell the big pieces. They only sell the 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 lumps of charcoal. But you have also dust of charcoal. Like 30% is dust, and they don't use it. They just discard it. This is actually very very. Uh, for the soil, it's very, very uh, uh, helpful material. At the it dota, I love footy. She did very well. Go Munda, was that dota? Uli Gubiga Munda, was that dota? Uli Gubiga Munda. Elia dota, Elia Jesibuja wing, the Rabele, the Civil Mugadin. So maybe you can get charcoal for free. Also, it's very easy to just crush charcoal in a bucket with a hammer or so. You can, you can crush charcoal to charcoal dust. And charcoal stays in the soil for over 10,000 years. 
It doesn't go away. It's there forever. You got Alakala more than 10,000. 10, 10 years. 10,000. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, Okay. Um you're in. Yeah. Um and now now to the toilet. And uh, as I said, it's it's practically a bucket, it's this bucket. So the rest is show and a nice seat and everything, but all you need is actually a bucket. I get and one possibility to use it is you 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 have your urine this is a bottle for for women this is a bottle for men <laughs> And you can you can actually divert <laughs> <laughs> go on the toilet and to divert. <laughs> that's what I do and that's what my customers <laughs> 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 And then, and then, <laughs> you use charcoal again for the for the feces. There's my charcoal. So you use the charcoal. You can use for for the bucket. You just put it on there. Just cover it, and you don't smell anything. Oh. The, the, <laughs> So the charcoal, the charcoal takes away the smell. It's like very good for, for absorbing the smell. So you have no smell. I, I had this in my living room for, for some months. My toilet was actually in my living room, in my, in my home. <laughs> Okay. Then the Eimer voll ist. Wenn der Eimer voll ist, nimmt man ihn raus. Der Deckel kommt immer wieder rauf. Der Deckel, das ist wichtig. Also, der the Lid all the time comes back on. So every time, so we don't want flies, we don't want uh, 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 any any uh, flies or moisture escaping or, or air. So every time you close the lid of the bucket, that's important. And if the bucket is full, you place it aside and wait for two weeks, four weeks. So the full bucket, so it can ferment. It, then it's fermenting. Okay. And uh, then it can be compost because after two to four weeks, it's it's hygienic. It has no more parasites or bacteria, uh, 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 harmful bacteria. It's uh, they 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 get broken down in the fermentation in, in two to four weeks. Okay. And after this time, you can put it on the compost. Together with other composting materials, just composting with leaves and and uh, uh, soil and grass, you can make a compost. Do you do you do you have a compost at home? Yes. Yeah. So you yeah. can put it on your normal compost. Yeah. 
Leitermann. And then it's actually, uh, and in this compost together, it, there, are, there is a, 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 you make black soil. Terra preta, we, we call it. Black soil. <laughs> Ja, Frage? Äh, wie viel von dem Granulat machen Sie da in den Eimer rein? Oder Immer so, dass es bedeckt ist nach jeder... Dass der Boden bedeckt ist. So every, every time das you use it, it or at least once, one time a day, you put, uh, you put a little bit of this charcoal dust on top, so that everything is covered. You don't see anything, you don't smell anything. Was, was, was bedeutet Black Soil? Schwarzer Boden. Schwarzer Boden. Schwarzer Boden. Danke. You know, this is actually a technology, not a German technology. It's, uh, it's uh, from the Indians in the Amazon in Brazil. They, they made this first, it called Terra Preta, and the archaeologists found this. And, and found out how they make their very good soils. Like 1,000 years ago, they used this method to create black soils, and they are still there. Okay, yeah. Also man kann Holzkohle gut selber machen, aber ich habe das gekauft, 10 Liter Beutel, äh, Beutel äh, 10 Kilo Beutel und habe das mit einem Hammer klein gehauen. Das ist eine fixe Arbeit, dauert bestimmt drei, vier Tage, bis man das durch hat, aber ich habe ja Zeit äh, und, und diese kleine, das kleine Mehl habe ich dann nochmal gediebt, um die großen Stücken nochmal zu hauen und dadurch habe ich gute, feine Asche gehabt, äh, kleine Kohle, Kohle äh, Staub gehabt und der war super. Oder man kann ihn hier kaufen. 18 Euro zehn Liter Beutel. Haben wir eine fertige Terra Streu oder 40 Liter für 25 Euro. Dann reine Kohle. Von den Feuerresten. Die haben sowieso Holz, 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 Holzkohle herstellen. Wir haben Holzkohleherstellung in der Region und, und das ist ja normal, überall gibt es kleine Holzkohlehersteller. Und da gibt es immer 30% Abfall, Staub. Und das heißt, den nutzen sie normalerweise nicht. Das heißt, das könnte eigentlich sehr gut dafür sein. Also das ist eigentlich normal in, in solchen Regionen. Okay. Ja. Ähm. ja. Also, there is an Another aspect, which is the mi microbiology, the microorganisms, yeah. and uh, we use, uh, maybe you have something to drink like that, uh, sour, fermenta sour fermented juice, you have something like that? Yeah. What's, what's the name? How, 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 how do you make it? Uh, you can, you can no. bring it around and smell it, please. So this is this is the bacteria we work with. We work with microorganisms, which is the same as sourdough. So we, we produce these microorganisms from from molasses. But uh, you probably have something. Yeah, we have something different. We've got quite about, about three, three made from different types of sour juice. Yeah. Do you do you have some some fermented sour yeah. juice? Yeah. Yeah. What's the name? Uh, we call it mulon. And and uh, and from from what plant is it? From from baobab. Baobab. Yeah. Baobab. And it, it tastes sour. Yeah, it tastes sour. sour. And you, sour. you ferment it with microorganisms, so it's a yeah. fermentation. Yeah. So you can use this. It's actually very similar to this here. It's a lactic acid bacteria. Mm. Okay. And you need them. That's very good for, for uh, mixing with the charcoal yeah. and yeah. also for your compost. Yeah. And also if you make a little bit in the water, mm. like if you, if you water your, your, your plants, you put for for 10 liters maybe you put a small cup 
of this juice or any other sour fermented juice and and uh, they grow much better so that's that's the microorganisms I, I show you you can drink it like like your baobab <laughs> So a lot of a lot of our uh, a lot of German people a lot of our customers have problems with di with digestion and with health like like uh, con con congestion or diarrhea and this is very good for this. And the, and the di digestion of the plant is actually the same. They have the same, they, they use the nutrients better, they grow healthier and faster if they have these good microorganisms on the, on the root. Okay, so this is our our main business here. We actually have a business with 10 people uh, making this charcoal mixture and producing the microorganism and uh, selling it to uh, uh, to, mm -hmm. the, to our customers mm -hmm. and uh, yeah I, I think it could be a very good business maybe in your uh, region too yeah mm -hmm. first for health it's yeah. usually the people come first because they they have interest in health problems mm -hmm. but very often then they give it to the animals they give it to the plants so you get a get a uh, yeah big sale after that ate <laughs> Ja, ich wollte ein Lied singen, ein Lied singen für uns. Ja, genau. Ja. Oh, my God. 
Danke. Hey, hey, hey. Hey,